Hey guys, Game Zach here, and welcome to another one of my Civilization 6 videos. Now, we've seen a lot of Civilization 6 at this point, and one thing keeps coming up. Despite all the concerns for gameplay and balance, people arguing which civs will be included at launch, or the whole Aztec pre order thing, the disagreement that seems to consistently split the community in the comment section of every Civilization 6 video is the visual style, or what some call the graphics of the game. Let's Let's not get hung up on semantics. The developers have said that they're trying to ensure that the map looks clean and clear because so much information is now visually represented, and the designs of the leaders sort of match that style, but there is a portion of the community which just can't stand it. Most coverage of the game, my channel included, tends to gloss over the visual style hate, and even if it is mentioned, it tends to be a simple acknowledgement that some people don't like it. This is because for those who are trying to cover the game from a more objective or journalistic standpoint, well, they have to avoid being too subjective or opinion-based with their reporting, where visual style preference is entirely subjective, and in general, taking any side on the visual style would get you a lot of hate. So why deal with that if you don't have to? Well, I'm going to get into it in this video and hopefully we can have a calm and reasonable discussion about it, as is the norm of the average YouTube comment section. Here it goes. And before we start, yes, I know it's a strategy game and visuals don't affect gameplay mechanics all that much, and whatever the visual style, Civilization VI seems to be like a much more complex game, with unstacked cities, city-states, great people, and the civic street clearly being more complex, and that the visual style isn't graphics, and the style doesn't necessarily have an effect on the performance of the game or eventual system requirements. Alright, so first up, let me mention what we've all seen at this point. It's the comments on Civ 6 videos. You know the ones. The ones like, the game looks casual, free to play mobile graphics, childish, Facebook game, the leaders look like Disney, Pixar, Sims, clay monkeys, or quite simply, this latest art choice looks like raw sewage. These are just a few of the comments I've seen recently. Well, whenever you see a lot of hate, you have to first try and find out if this is the majority opinion or is it a vocal minority. Looking up some polls, I found a few results. And as a note, I made my own, which you can vote for right on this video. Just click the letter I icon in the top right corner and help everyone figure out where they stand. So there are some simple polls with small responses, a couple polls on the 2K forums, both having about 50 responses each, where opinions were either split or a slight lean towards wanting a more realistic art style. There's a poll on Civ Fanatics with 275 responses, with 85 that could be considered not liking the visual style, so about 30%. And a way more extensive survey on Reddit by username Elephantry, with a lot of specific questions with screenshots comparing Civ 5 to Civ 6. This got 7,000 responses, so a much larger sample size, where about 85% said they would like changes, but 55% only wanted small changes, and only about 5% said they were boycotting the game because of the visual style. So that's about 35% who said that they really don't like the new art style. You should take this survey yourself or check out the results so you can see all the data laid out in more specifics. It even goes into unit sizes and tile designs. Links all in the description down below. So we can safely say that 30 to 35% of people are not happy with the visual style, which is a minority, but it's not a small number by any means. It's basically a third. Now it has to be noted that these surveys were all made about three months ago, and specifically the big one from Reddit was done before gameplay videos were revealed, while the Civ Fanatics one was after, and it seemed to have a 5% shift towards being more positive on the visual style. Why is this important? Well, it seems to be that people have been growing to like the visual style more as time goes on. No solid data on this admittedly, but I'm getting more comments over time on how, after looking at it for a while, it's starting to seem not so bad. This could indicate that if the surveys were done again today, or at launch in a couple months, that the response would be a little more positive. Which is why I've created a new poll on this video. Remember to vote, click the I in the top right corner. So after all this data, what should we be talking about at this point? Well, there's a few things that we should be keeping in mind. First of all, we gotta understand preference and subjectivity. 
Visuals being important to someone's gaming experience is subjective, and for those whose enjoyment of the game is ruined by the visual style alone, well it's entirely personal. Visuals and graphics are important to some and not to others, and neither are wrong. It's also important not to outright dismiss people who complain or dislike the visual style. Telling people that visuals aren't important, that Civ 6 is a strategy game and anyone who cares so much about the visuals aren't playing it right, or to just get over it, that's not really helpful. If someone says, I care about this a lot, Telling them to just not care about it isn't going to change anything. Though if someone is getting vitriolic or just outright unpleasant about the whole thing, then that can understandably get quite annoying and the best you can do is to tell them that that's how it is or to just ignore them. On the subject of mods, saying mods will fix it might be true. We might get some amazing visual overhaul mods, but it's not a good thing when you need to rely on mods to make a game enjoyable. Though if a visual overhaul mod makes the game playable for those who can't stand the visual style, that's still a good thing to have, and Civ 6 is fully supporting mods from launch, so download what you want. But all this gets me thinking about what could really be upsetting people. The style is reminiscent of games that didn't do well financially or critically, notably the content lacking and terrible business model of Age of Empires Online, Civ Revolution which is now a mobile game, or Clash of Clans, and Goddess which is a complete mess. Despite these games having nothing to do with each other, and even less to do with Civ 6, on a personal level this can associate Civ 6 to these games and can ruin a person's experience with a game because they're constantly reminded of bad experiences. Experiences. It's also a worry that Civ 6 will go down the same path of either gameplay or marketing decisions as the choice to use a new style might somehow be linked to marketing the game to similar audiences. There's nothing really to support any of this, but we're talking about people's personal aesthetic experiences here. And Civ 6 being associated with these games just based on the looks can give people those negative vibes. But let's look back at the history of Civilization and compare it to the previous games in the series. Something that is relevant is whether this new style fits with the whole series in general. It doesn't have to, but there are expectations. As this is the sixth iteration in the main line of Civilization games, there would be a certain expectation for how it should look and feel. Though based on the stats from the Reddit survey, almost everyone had played Civ 5, only 50% played Civ 4, and less than 30% played Civ 3. So we could assume half the people looking at Civ 6 started with Civ 5. Now, Civilization has never been a photorealistic game, but looking back at a few elements, we can see that Civ 6 does change up quite a bit. Civ 2 and 3 were pretty colorful, but not nearly as vibrant as Civ 6, and Civ 4 and 5 were quite muted in comparison. Civ 6 is also the least textured of the lot, as they try to go for a cleaner look. But it's also important to remember that Civilization traditionally has been a rather silly and cartoony series. The advisors from Civ 2 were live action caricatures. The defeat screen from Civ 3 was, well, looking at it now, it's a suction dart board with weird faces at the top and your leader beat up while the other leaders leave snarky comments? And the leader design and dialogue from Civ 4 can seem even more cartoony than the ones in Civ 6. In retrospect, Civ 5 seems to be the standout from the series, but going from Civ 1 to Civ 5, it seemed to make changes and steps moving in a certain direction, while Civ 6 brings it back in quite a bit of a leap, which can understandably shock people, especially if they've only played Civ 5. You could even say that Civ 5 was the clean one, which lacked the humor and silliness of the series. But either way, can you do anything about it? Outside of making visual mods for Civ 6? No. We're two months from release and plenty of gameplay has already been revealed and marketing is well underway. The visual style is not going to change in any significant way, however it should be noted that things have been tweaked here and there. For example, Teddy Roosevelt is actually a bit slimmer and notably less shiny in more recent videos. Honestly, comparing the two, the new model does look much better. But overall, does this mean Civilization 6 is going to be a failure? If we follow the numbers we've seen so far, not in the slightest. At most we've seen a max of about 5% saying they won't buy the game because of the visual style, which really isn't going to affect their bottom line or the player base. And we have to take into account that as time goes on, more people are starting to like the new visual style, or at least not hate it. 
And to wrap up, how about my own personal opinion? I actually like the new visual style. I don't think it's perfect, and I would texture things a bit more and change some of the models, but overall I find it refreshing and lively. I don't find it too cartoony or childish, and I'm still able to take the game seriously. I also think that this new style is a bit more timeless, and will look as good as it does today, 10 years from now. Anyway, that's my video on the visual style of Civilization VI. Remember to vote right on this video by clicking the I in the top right corner so we can see where we all stand and if the numbers are continuing to shift in a more positive direction or if it's going back to the negative. Let me know in the comments what you think in more detail too. Love it? Hate it? Why? What part of the new style do you really care about? Or do you just not care at all? And if you're interested in seeing more Civilization VI content on the channel, well, I've got two videos for you. Moving away from the visual style of Civilization VI, you can check out the 12 gameplay details that you might not know about. And I also have a video on the whole Aztec pre-order exclusivity thing. And I pretty much release a Civilization VI video every Friday, so subscribe if you'd like to see more. Alright, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. And I'll see you in the next video.